Here's kind of a cool question that popped up today in the Articulate Storyline forums. A Storyline user was asking, can I build a course where the learner needs to enter a code at the beginning? And that code would then take them to a different place in the course that's appropriate for their role. And I could totally see why you might want to do this. Like if you've got a course that's covering lots and lots of people, maybe a particular department needs to see you know, a particular branch of the course that everybody else doesn't need to see. Um, and then other departments need to see something specific to their own roles. Well, it's really easy to set this up, and here's a really quick example. On this first slide, I've got this data entry field, and um, what I did ahead of time was I set up two different codes that the learner might enter. So let's put our cursor in this field, and we'll enter one of the codes, which is the word FIRST, so F-I-R-S-T. And now we'll hit the Enter key, like the instructions say, and that's going to branch us to a particular spot in the course. In this case, it's just a placeholder slide, but this could look however you want and hold as much content as you want. Lots of slides, you know, interactions, quiz questions, whatever. At the end of this content path, then we would branch to a wrap-up slide at the end. Now let's replay this preview and see what happens if we enter a different code. We'll put our cursor in there, and my other code that I set up ahead of time is the word second. So we'll enter that, we'll hit our enter key, and now you'll see that we are in a different place in the course. This doesn't look like what we saw before. It's different content. We would experience whatever content is in this path, and at the end of the path we would end up at this wrap-up slide. Now a third situation is what if the learner doesn't enter the right code at all, or they don't enter anything? So if they enter maybe some bogus text here, or if they leave it blank and they try to hit enter, what happens is they're going to get this little message saying, oh, you got to enter you know, a valid code to move on. And if, if you don't have that, then you got to get some help from your admin person or whoever, whoever passes out the codes. So let's see how easy this is to set up in Storyline. What I've got here on this first slide is um, you know, my content, and then I added this data entry field. This is simple to put on your slide. You just got to go to the Insert tab and then choose Data Entry. And you can choose either text or numeric. I went with text for my example, but if you want your codes to be only numbers, you could choose numeric. And then uh, once you make your selection, you can draw your input field on the slide and size it and position it the way you want. And you'll notice over here in the trigger pane that Storyline creates this trigger that automatically collects the text that the learner enters in that field and stores it in a variable. And you don't have to mess around with this trigger or do anything to make this happen. It just does this automatically. But the cool thing is you can then use the value of that variable to determine how you want the learner to be branched once they hit the Enter key. So we'll talk about that in a second. What we've got over here for our content, you'll see this um, one slide here is for my content path number one, and then there's the one for my content path number two. So I've set these up ahead of time. And then um, on my first slide, I did disable my previous and next buttons because I don't want the learner to be able to jump forward um, with the next button, you know, because we want them to enter the code. So down here in my slide properties, um, we'll just click that gear button and you can see that these have been both unmarked, previous and next. So there's no way to get off of the slide unless they enter a code to move on. So let's talk about that. That's what these two triggers are here uh, for in the trigger pane, these first couple. This first one is um, really simple. What we're just uh, telling Storyline to do here is jump to the slide called 1.2, so this first content path that we saw in the thumbnails. When the user presses enter, on slide 1.1, but only on this condition. That text entry field has to equal this phrase right here. So um, it's the word first, and we just set this up uh, really simply. The variable called text entry has to equal the value of whatever we enter here, which is first. And I did choose ignore case here for the operator, just because I really don't care if they enter you know, initial caps or whatever. It can be any case as long as they get the characters right. I really don't care. If you're a stickler for the case, though, you would choose equal to rather than the one that says ignore case. So that's what that's about. The second trigger is similar, except it takes the learner to a different place. It says jump to the slide called 1.3, which is our other branch, right, over here. When the user presses enter on slide 1.1, but only if they enter the phrase second, S-E-C-O-N-D. So that's what that is. And I've also got this third situation. If they don't enter anything correctly, you know, if they, if they don't enter any correct code, I created this slide layer here with this warning, and that's what this third trigger does. It basically says show that layer if what they enter doesn't equal any of the correct codes. So there you go, that's how easy it is to set up a slide at the beginning that directs learners to the correct content based on their code.